Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we present you 50 beautiful retro historical photos. We hope you will appreciate our work. Write your comment and click the subscribe button. Enjoy the show and here we go. Nineteen forty eight, pretty girls cute photo shoot, and no caption. August nineteen forty, street scene in Natchez, Mississippi. Nineteen twelve, my father, Wright, and his younger brother pose for a traveling photographer outside their home in Santa Rosa, California. Nineteen eighty-five, seventy-three years later, they reenact the photo for my sister in our yard in Larkspur on May twenty-fifth, nineteen eighty-five. This was the last time they were together. My father passed away six months later. August nineteen forty, highway outside Natchez, Mississippi. Negro women carrying bundles of laundry and boxes on their heads. 1920s. Seems to me the bathing suits were a little revealing for 1927, but I'm sure they sold plenty of Cadillacs because of them. 1940. Going to town. Woodstock, Vermont. 1940. Hartford, Connecticut. Circa 1907. Hartford Fire Insurance Company. 1940. Hired help resting after day's work in Upway Horse Farm, South Woodstock, Vermont. March 1940. Basque Sheepherder camped on the range. Dangbug Ranch, Douglas County, Nevada. Spring 1939. Waiting for stoplight in Washington, D.C. Boston, Massachusetts, circa 1906. Tremont Street looking South King's Chapel and Tremont Temple. May 1942. Philadelphia Quartermaster Corps. The tradition of Betsy Ross is being kept alive in this Quartermaster Corps depot where a young woman worker assists in the creation of American flags for military activities. November 1936. Squatter camp on the flat where families live during the orange picking season near Porterville. Part of migrant family of five, native Californians, waiting for work in the groves. June 8, 1968. 
Funeral cortege of Robert F. Kennedy. Mourners viewing RFK's funeral train as it made its way from New York to Washington after his assassination. Circa 1908. Main Street, Mackinac Island, Michigan. No motor traffic allowed, but postcards and dentists galore. March 1940. New England housewife fixing supper on a winter night. Woodstock, Vermont. March 1940. New England housewife fixing supper on a winter night. Woodstock, Vermont. Boston, Massachusetts, circa 1906. Old State House from Washington Street. December 16, 1930. Chicago. The Crusaders have new slogans. Miss Elizabeth Thompson was one of the first members of that national organization, formed to overthrow prohibition, to put the new tire cover on her car. June Wilkinson, English model and actress, photo shoot 1963. May 1942, Washington, D.C. Students' car in front of University Club on K Street, N.W. August 1940, one-room school in Breathick County, Kentucky. New York, 1922. New and especially posed photo of Mrs. Charles H. Sabin, wife of the president of the Guarantee Trust Company of New York, and her two sons, P. Morton Smith and James H. Smith. Boston circa 1906. Old State House front from Court Street. November 1939. Main Street in South Boston, Halifax County, Virginia. November 20th, 1912. Woolworth Building, New York. nineteen sixty one Mount Clemens, Michigan Mount Clemens Savings and Loan May of the Kessler Associates Architects New York, nineteen 
New York, 1936. Beauty fitness expert Sylvia Allback, Madam Sylvia of Hollywood, posing with duck pins shaped like penguins. May 1941. San Diego. Family living at Kearney Mesa Defense Housing Project. This man came out to California from Oklahoma 10 years ago. He has been an agricultural worker and had lived in various FSA camps. Now employed as a painter at Consolidated Aircraft. October 1940. Boy picking potatoes on a large farm near Caribou, Maine. Schools do not open until the potatoes are harvested. June 1940. Shriver, Louisiana. Cajun children on Terrebonne Farms Project. New York circa 1906. 42nd Street at Park Avenue, looking west with Grand Central Station at right and the Hotel Manhattan Center Stage. March 1940. Skiers from Boston, relaxing in Lodge at North Conway, New Hampshire. Hartford, Connecticut, circa 1907. Connecticut Mutual Life Insurance Company, Maine and Pearl Streets. May 1939, Washington, D.C. Crossing F Street in front of Garfinkel's department store on 14th Street Northwest. Beautiful Betty Page in a Beautiful Outfit, 1948. October 1940. Dinner hour at the home of Mr. J. H. Dubay, French-Canadian potato farmer after he and the boys had finished a day's work in their potato field in Wallagrass, Maine. January 1939. Lake Harbor, Florida. Negro agricultural laborers watching one of their houses burn to the ground. All they have left is piled on the ground. July 1941. Children outside tent home at the FSA Migratory Farm Labor Camp Mobile Unit. Athena, Oregon. Spring 1940. Bank and flour mill elevators in Mount Airy, Maryland. Washington, D.C., circa 1923. Janet Moffat, debutante daughter of Rear Admiral Moffat. August 1941. Children of Maryland farmer helping harvest the tomato crop. Dorchester County, Maryland.
1938, Washington, D.C. 400 subject to a postage stamp perforating machine at the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. Los Angeles, 1955. Comedians George Burns and Gracie Allen. June 1940. Buying dress goods in Project Cooperative Store. Transylvania Resettlement Project, Louisiana. June 1940. Some of the younger Osceola migratory camp members who have come to the post office in Belle Glade, Florida, for their mail. This image was found in a stash of circa 1910 glass negatives from Floyd Ingram, who lived in Springwater, New York. I know nothing about who's here or why they were gathered in someone's parlor, but I love its Norman Rockwell vibe. Every face looks like one of his subjects. June 1941. Five cent hot lunches at the Woodville Public School, Greene County, Georgia. February 14, 1913. Noon steamer scene B. Lunch break for men working on the side wheeler scene B at the Detroit Ship Building Yard in Wyandotte. Bonus photo for you a beautiful retro woman. Anita Eckberg, 1951, in an adorable dress. This is the end of our performance. We hope you enjoyed it and appreciate our work. See you in the next performance. Have a good day.